She needed to play her best, and that's exactly what she did. Petra, Elena is absolutely one of the hottest players on, on the tour. She has been playing phenomenal this year. You took her out in straight sets. How did you get it done? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I know, I'm still surprised. I would say I think the tie break was really the deciding uh, whole match in the end. I got a break in the first set, but then she returned an unbelievable, played very good game. So she break me back, and uh, yeah, the tie break was oh my god, probably the longest in my career. And uh, somehow I managed it. I have to really serve it out very well today, and I'm, I'm glad I made it in the end. But to be honest. I have no idea how I did it. <laughs> that mean, I guess that means you were very, very much in the moment. L let's talk about that tie break, though. 16, 14, 30 points. I mean, it was seesaw back and forth. We're all biting our nails here. What on earth are you experiencing emotionally in a breaker like that? Yeah, actually, because I won the tie break, I think emotionally I was on the better <laughs> side than Elena. But uh, on the other hand, oh my god, I don't know how many set points each of us had, but. It was something incredible, and um, I got uh, so many aces in the beginning of the tie break. I was like, oh my God, I couldn't even play. So it was really difficult, and the tie break was something amazing. And you could see the balls after the tie break. It was like a big, fluffy <laughs> ball. <laughs> Ninth Masters 1000 title, the third all time on that list. W were there any nerves towards the end? I mean, such a massive moment. Actually, I have to say that in the end, I was pretty calm today. Uh, it was different yesterday when I played Sorana in the semi-final, but today I felt a little bit different. I was calming down myself to be okay, okay. I mean, any time she could break me back and, and playing, but I served better, I think, in the second set. And actually, I made it on the return game, which was really surprising. N nice, nice not to have the pressure to serve it out. You mentioned that match against Kirstea. You didn't drop very much. You only dropped one set all the way through here. Do you look back at one of the matches being being your toughest one all the way through? You dropped that set against Alexandrova, but other than that, you've been so clutch. Wow, well, I started with playing Czech uh, player, so that's always a tricky one. Yeah. Uh, Varvara, I didn't know her at all, and she was playing amazing, and I think that was the match when I turned it around mentally, to be honest, so I think it's helped me a lot, that, that match, uh, playing well, and uh, I mean, I could count everyone here, what I what I beat in, in this tournament. Uh, Katarina took a set from me, it was really difficult to coming back, and final, I mean, <laughs> what a match, really. Your 30th title overall, your record in finals is 30 and 11. You're exceptional when the stakes are very high. How different are those finals feelings, especially in 1000s and Grand Slams? How different are they? I love trophies, so that's probably that's why I love that, to play. That's a pretty good looking one right it's there. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh my God. I still can't believe it. Um, uh, I, I love playing finals. I, I love to play deeper in the tournament. That's probably. That's what I love the most about the tennis. I love the game itself. I love the fight as well. I love the mentalist side of it as well, when you really have to think what you should play or what you shouldn't play, and strategy wise and everything. So I'm really enjoying it, especially in the final. You know, we are so close and still so far from the trophy. So it feels so weird, but <laughs> I just like it. Well, you can take this baby home now. It's, a, it's an absolutely beautiful one. Another huge bonus after this is you'll be back into the top 10 for the first time since 21. That must be pretty special for you. Wow, uh, I didn't even know this, so. Oh, wow, there you go. Wow, yeah, uh, I couldn't expect this <laughs> at all to be back in top 10. Um, well, what I can say, I'm very happy. Yes, I didn't expect this at all. <laughs> Have you, now that you know you're back in the top 10, you won your first title here in Miami, ninth 1,000 overall. Do you readjust the goals for the rest of the year? No, I don't have any goal. Um, wow, well, I, I, I mean, I w my goal was always like to have a one title in the season, so I'm already done. <laughs> how how will this title set you up now moving forward for the for the clay court season? Well, yeah, that's the thing. The clay season is starting, which you know, it's not really my favorite, but I can play well on it, especially in Madrid. So I mean, um, whatever happened, happened. I mean, uh, I have to. You know, relax a little bit now to uh, take care of my body and then started uh, uh, preparation on clay. But um, slowly, I would say slowly. I'm very, very exhausted after this tournament. So uh, I'm looking forward for the clay for sure. 
You know, Petra, I must say your tennis has been exceptional, but you've been a real inspiration to all of us, not just on the court, but off the court as well. So we just appreciate you in so many ways and the biggest congratulations for today. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Always, always.